In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. With a gratitude mind and a gratitude soul, I will hereby say, Alleluia. 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 Alleluia song we never cease for our mouth in Jesus' name. Good morning. Happy new day. Happy Saturday, January 7, 2023. This is Love Word, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your name. King of Kings, we appreciate you. We bless you for giving us the grace and opportunity to be here today. Heavenly Father, protect and guide us. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In Jesus' name, Amen. The topic for this morning is perfect love. Perfect love. Our memory first shall be found in the book of First John, four verse sixteen. I read, and we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love, and it had dread in love, dread in God, and God in Him. And we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love, and he that dread in love, dread in God. And God is in him. God is love, and perfect love can only be experienced in him. First John 4 16 to 17. No matter how strong human love is, it actually has a hiding agenda and will remain imperfect if it is not unstable in God. There is a classic example of two people who love each other in Bible, David and Jonah. Tan. In 1 Samuel 18 verse 4, the Bible say, And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him and gave it to David and his garment, even to his sword, and to his bow, and to his kingdom. Looking closely at the gifts, you will observe that Jonathan has gave David practically everything except his shoe. This is because in Bible time, one way to seal a contract is the giving of shoe, without which everything given can be reclaimed. Root 4 of 7. In those days also, only son wore shoes, servants were not allowed to. That is why in Luke 15 11 to 24, when the prodigal son returned, the father asked that shoe be put on his feet to show that he has accepted him back as a son and not a servant. Thus we see Jonathan thus was saying to David, in essence, we are friends, but don't forget who you are. You are beloved servant, but I'm the son. You are only beloved servant. In 1 Samuel 20, 13, verse 16 and verse 42, we see that Jonathan entered a covenant with David when it became clear that the latter would be king, extracting a promise from him not to wipe out his family later on. He even asked to become David's assistant. 1 Samuel 23 verse 17 Be careful when people say they love you. It may be because of what they can get from you. If it so happens that there is nothing to get anymore, then you will be no who truly love you. God loves us, however, is perfect and unconditional. He loves us even while we are yet sinners. Romans 5:18. He sacrificed his only begotten son, so you and I can be saved. John 3:16. He alone is worthy of all your trust. 1 John 4. Verse 16. Choose the perfect love of God today by surrendering your life to Jesus. It is only in Him that we have assurance of boldness on the day of judgment. 1 John 4 verse 17 
an internal life. Romans 6, verse 23. Brethren, I want us to read 1 John 4, 15-21. And our Bible in one year, Genesis 24, verse 25. Our hymn is in 31. Wonderful story of love. Wonderful story of love. Our key point for today, God's love is perfect. God's love is perfect. And I pray in the name above every other name that everyone will shower his love and his blessing on us. We be loved perfectly and everything will work for our goodness in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, this is Love Word. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the like button. And the goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. And bye for now. God bless you. Somebody, Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah.